Firefighters were doing ice rescue training when two teenagers fell through the ice in a Missouri lake. Drone footage captured the dramatic mission to bring the boys safely back to shore. Fire officials sprung into action when the youngsters, aged 15 and 17, ran across the lake. The ice beneath them broke within 15 seconds. Officials say they were on the brink of hypothermia, and lucky to be rescued quickly. At least two homes were burned in a wildfire that broke out in the Los Angeles suburb of Whittier Thursday afternoon amid unusually warm, dry and windy weather. The fire was the second in the region Thursday, coming after an early morning blaze near Laguna Beach that forced residents to evacuate but didn't burn any homes. The Whittier blaze, dubbed the Sycamore Fire, was reported around 3 p.m. local time, according to the Los Angeles County Fire Department. The confirmed that two homes were destroyed and a third was damaged. About 200 firefighters responded and stopped forward progress of the fire, which only burned a few acres. About 40 miles southeast of Los Angeles, residents in the Laguna Beach area were allowed to return home around 3 p.m. Thursday after early morning evacuation orders due to the Emerald Fire. The flames from that blaze were spurred on by winds gusting over 40 miles per hour, plus the warm, dry conditions plaguing the region. Mount Etna volcano, on the Italian island of Sicily, erupted again. According to the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, the eruption occurred inside the southeast crater area, causing a slight and discontinuous ash shower. The recorded tremors came from a depth of around 3,000 meters above sea level, reaching average values. A forecast model predicts the volcanic plume will travel in a southwesterly direction. Vincenzo Bellini Airport in Catania remains fully operational, and has not been affected by the expulsion of ash, which was described as discontinuous and slight. Since 1980, the northeast crater of Etna, at 3,324 meters, was considered the highest of the Sicilian volcano. Before its edges gradually eroded, the crater actually reached a maximum height of 3,350 meters in 1981. Etna is an active stratovolcano on the east coast of Sicily, located in the metropolitan city of Catania, between the cities of Messina and Catania, and is one of the world's most active volcanoes, in an almost constant state of activity. A cargo ship became stranded after it ran aground on the southeastern coast of Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean during the recent tropical cyclone Batsarai. Now, operations are underway to remove fuel from the Mauritius-based ship so a leak doesn't occur, according to Reunion Island news outlet Le Quotidien. Reunion Island is a French overseas department located in the Indian Ocean about 400 miles east of Madagascar. The number of trees cut down in the Brazilian Amazon in January far exceeded deforestation for the same month last year, according to government satellite data. The area destroyed was five times larger than 2021, the highest January total since records began in 2015. Environmentalists accuse Brazil's President Jair Bolsonaro of allowing deforestation to accelerate. Protecting the Amazon is essential if we are to tackle climate change. Trees are felled for their wood as well as to clear spaces to plant crops to supply global food companies. The latest satellite data from Brazil's space agency again calls into question the Brazilian government's commitment to protecting its huge rainforest, say environmentalists. Greenpeace are calling on supermarkets in the UK and elsewhere to drop suppliers who are involved in deforestation from their meat and dairy supply chain suppliers. 
Deforestation totaled 430 square kilometers, 166 square miles, in January, an area more than seven times the size of Manhattan, New York. Brazil's vast rainforest absorbs huge amounts of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, acting as what's known as a carbon sink. But the more trees cut down, the less the forest can soak up emissions. Australia classifies koalas along much of its eastern coast as endangered. Scientists have been warning for many years that the native marsupials' habitats were being hit by drought, bushfires, and land development. Australia's environment minister has said that koalas along much of the country's eastern coast are now endangered. Susan Lay said that the koalas in New South Wales, Queensland, and the Australian Capital Territory, areas where the species had been listed as vulnerable, would now be classified as endangered. Ms Lay said, the impact of prolonged drought, followed by the black summer bushfires, and the cumulative impacts of disease, urbanization and habitat loss over the past 20 years have led to the advice. Australia has lost about 30% of its koalas over the past three years, according to the Australian Koala Foundation, with the worst figures seen in New South Wales, where numbers have dropped by 41%. The world is vast and has many spectacular natural occurrences taking place. Volcanoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, the northern lights, and many other events excite and frighten us. However, one distinctive man-made feature in the world is a source of great mystery. A remote peninsula located in northwestern Russia has been the site many scientists worked on drilling towards the planet's center. As deep as 40,000 feet, this borehole is known as the deepest mankind has ever created. However, it has been sealed and many people don't know why. This is the reason why. Something unusual occurred. Their strategies had been thrown off. That's when they knew they had no other option than to permanently close the hole. What was the reasoning for putting an end to such an extensive search?